welcome to another episode of Adventures in Welding. I'm Paul. Thanks for being here. In today's episode, we're going to talk about fitting up the parts for your 2G, 3G, 4G, whatever welding test. So the first thing you're going to need are two six inch by about, these are about four inch, six by four by three inch, eight inch plates beveled for 60 degrees. So 30 degree bevel on each side. Then you're going to need a quarter inch backing strip. These are eight inches long, so they're a little bit longer. Quarter inch by, this is probably one inch, one and a half maybe, by eight inches. And you're going to need to get yourself something to mark because we got to clean these bad boys up. So the first thing we're going to do is mark where we need to clean them. A half an inch on both sides of the joint is usually sufficient. We're going to do this to both of our plates. Then it's grinder time. All right, we're going to start off by grinding the bevel smooth. Mount it in my vise. And what you want to do is hold your grinder at the angle of the bevel and move it up and down as you move across. What we're trying to do is get rid of the saw marks so we have a nice smooth finish. Next, we're going to clean those marks that we put on the front and back. You want to take your time. You want to make sure they're nice and clean. Because a crappy fit up and a crappy clean up here is not going to impress the test supervisor. So take your time and get them good and clean. <laughs> You also want to clean the edges where you're going to tap. Alright folks, now it is time to fit up your weldment. We're going to start with the quarter inch backing strap, which we have already cleaned off. And we're going to use a couple more just to keep everything in line. Try and be as symmetrical as possible. Then 
Then I'm just going to check my gap. quarter inch. You don't want to go any smaller. Okay, but if you can cheat a few thousandths of an inch bigger, that'll be good. Then you just want to lock them down somehow. You want a tight fit between the backing strap and the coupons. And I just bumped it. All right. Everything is down in place and ready to go. The next step is to tack it. We're going to tack it on this side in four places. Here, here here and here. Then we'll flip it over and do it again. All right, we're going to be using um, Lincoln Excalibur 7018s, 330 second. I got it set for 88 amps, but you're going to end up using whatever the test supervisor wants you to use. So set your amps accordingly. All right, let's get started with our tags. Make sure you get four good tacks on here. All right. That's the front side. Now for the back. If you're using 7018s, it's always handy to have a file around and knock off that little piece of like glass that forms on there. We're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six tacks on the back side. There's one side. Let me grab a new rod. And I'll do the other side. All right, folks, there is our tacked up piece. 
ready for a test. I didn't chip the slag off, that's why they're looking kind of ugly there. So now what you end up doing, say you're taking a 2G test, you'll mount it like this. Or if you're taking a 3G test, you mount it like this. So why did I show you this? Because in our next episode, I'm going to show you how to go about getting a good multi-pass weld in the 3G vertical up position. So join me next time on Adventures in Welding. Until then, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you again. All right? All right. Be good.